Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633, and today we're taking a look at the final Ranger Key Packs that were released this year as a part of, once again, another Toys R Us exclusive wave. I'm actually impressed that Bandai America's really gone out of their way to release all the Ranger Keys in the Bandai America toy line. This is something that Bandai America has never done, even especially as far as they did now, and I'm extremely impressed that they went ahead and released all the Ranger Keys. Now, unfortunately, even up to this point, since I did skip the Giant 60 Morpher key set, I don't have a lot of the keys in general, meaning that I missed out on Donut Thunder Yellow, In Space Silver, and the Quantum Ranger, meaning that even after all this, I'm still not complete. It's a huge shame that I didn't expect Band of America to actually go ahead and release them, since at that point, I kind of gave up hope that Band of America would actually release all the keys. So it was a real shame that Ban America did that with the 60 Morpher key set, and I'm pretty much going to have to live with that decision. Anyways, we'll take a look at all the individual key sets per season. And to start off this review, we're going to look at the Turbo Ranger key set. Now this is where I actually give Ban America some criticism. While I praise Ban America for releasing all the keys up to this point, this is where it becomes really annoying what Band of America decided to do in the first place that made it really problematic up to this point. As you can see, even after you get this set, the only new key in the set is Turbo Yellow. Now, how they should have technically released it was releasing two new Rangers, or maybe three new Rangers in the first pack, and two new Rangers with a duplicate like that. Unfortunately, due to some kind of stupid rule, it seemed like Band of America went ahead and just released only one female... Ranger per pack except for a few packs. Now this is where it becomes really annoying and I really don't know what Bandai America's decision on that really was a good idea. But anyways, we'll take a look at the box. The box shows Turbo Yellow, so I have to give Bandai America the credit that, especially when we look at the next couple key sets, Bandai America actually decided to use the female as the cover photo. Other than that, the box itself is the same. The sounds, once again, are exactly the same. So I actually want to go through each of the sounds only once. And this time, for the, only the new keys. So, here we have Turbo Yellow. Start off. So, that's still cool. It's going to be the same no matter what you do for each season, but it's still cool to finally get a hold of all the keys in the set. Taking away these two extra keys, which is just a translucent Phantom Ranger and a translucent Red Ranger. We're just going to show all the turbo keys together. Now we got all the turbo keys together, finally. So it's really nice to see all the turbo keys here, especially since the Japanese version of Signal Man, also known as the Blue Centurion. It's really hard to get a hold of in Japan, and the Phantom Ranger key, as I mentioned in the older review, was never released in Japan in the first place. So it's cool to see all the Turbo Rangers together. Anyways, we'll now go to the next set. And now we move on to the In Space Keys. Now this is another set where I have another problem with. And that's because it would have been nice to have maybe the Black Ranger Key as a translucent In Space Silver Key since, once again, he was a part of the Giant Morpher exclusive pack. So it's a bit unfortunate that... Band America hasn't found a way to reissue some of the harder to find keys, especially the three that were released during that time. But anyways, we're going to take a look at the box. The box is showing in space black instead of the usual female. So this is just one of the few sets where, I guess since they decided to just use one of the team members to put on the box. The only new key in the set is in space pink. So we're just going to quickly activate the morpher. And that's pretty much it for the sound otherwise. We'll now take a look at what I at least have for the In Space Rangers. Now, I'm happy to have at least the main core team. I am still sad that I wasn't able to get the In Space Silver key, especially since I did not want to pay the price for the Giant Morpher set. So it's nice to at least have the core team, as I mentioned, but I really wish Band of America found a way to maybe reissue the three keys that they weren't able to release otherwise in another set. Anyways, we'll now move on to the next team. 
And now we move on to Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Now I appreciate Band of America deciding to use Kendrick's suit likeness on the box. Especially since Kendrick's is one of the most interesting Rangers we've had in a long time because of complications on set with her getting sick and various other things. It went for a very interesting take in the Power Rangers take on Ginga Man. But anyways, we'll take a look at the box. It has a really nice look of Lost Galaxy pink there. Otherwise, the box is the same. Now, it is nice to actually have a translucent key of... What's the name? Uh, the Magnet Defender. It's really cool, actually. And then I think the sparkliness of the paint scheme is really nice looking on the key. Anyways, we'll take a look at Kendrick's. Activate it in the morpher. There we go. And now take a look at all the Lost Galaxy Rangers together. And here we have all the Lost Galaxy Rangers together. Now, this is another set that I'm fortunate to finally get a hold of all the team members in Ranger Key form. And they look really nice together, such as since Lost Galaxy is actually one of my more remembered seasons in my childhood. Now, I actually didn't remember a lot of it when growing up, but... It was actually one of the only times I was able to actually get a roleplay toy out of the season, and that was the Quasar Saber. So that's why it's actually one of my favorite seasons. But anyways, we'll now take a look at the next key set. We are now looking at Power Rangers Lights Rescue. Now this has to be the most controversial key set of the wave for a couple of reasons. One, even though it's similar to what they did with the Megaforce key set in this wave, this is the set that took a very long time to release all the team members of, but, I do have to give credit, because there was a delay in the way that they released this, this set was able to have two females instead of just the one female. Otherwise, it would have probably did the same formula as every other key set in the wave. So, I am happy about that. Now, the one thing that is controversial is the release of the Titania Ranger key. I can understand for some people where they might be a little bit upset that they released the key at retail, but... Just to give a note, regardless of what the key is, the key that was released in the Morphicon set was metallic, and it actually says Power Morphicon. This one actually says Lightspeed Rescue. So, just in the overall design, technically the Morphicon version is still different compared to the retail release. It's the same thing that happened with the gold morpher for Tommy, so it's something that's kind of expected at this point. It's just interesting this time, and hopefully... For Power Morphicon this year, there won't be some kind of special release to coincide with maybe the Legacy release. Maybe the Power Sword or something. I don't know what it could be this year, but let's just hope it's something that won't be problematic down the line. Anyways, we're just going to take a look at all three keys in the Morpher since they're all new. They're all going to say the same thing, but we're just going to go through And then, finally, the Titanium Ranger key. I'm not going to even bother bringing out the Silver Morpher since it's not going to make any new sound otherwise in there anyways. So that's pretty much it for this set. It's really nice to finally get a hold of the Titanium Ranger key, especially since during the season it was airing, I never actually got a hold of the Titanium Morpher. To be honest, I really wasn't that big of a Power Rangers fan, at least to buy the products at the time. So, I am happy to at least have some kind of device, I guess, for transformation into the Titanium Ranger. Anyways, we'll now take a look at all the Lightspeed Rescue members together. And here's all the Lightspeed Rescue keys side by side. It's really cool to actually have all the team members of Lightspeed Rescue, and it's once again another team that I'm very happy to finally get a hold of the entire team. We're just going to quickly go over the box, since I forgot it in the first part. It has a picture of the Titanium Ranger, so this is actually really cool that technically... This is the only box in the entire series that will have a really unique release compared to anything that Bandit Japan would release because it doesn't have the Titanium Ranger in Japan. box otherwise is the same. Anyways, we'll now move on to the next set. And now we move on to Time Force, and sadly it's another season that 
I wasn't able to get a hold of a full team. What's interesting, though, is that we actually have a translucent female, which is actually really rare in the Band of America toy line for the Ranger Keys, so it's kind of appreciated, actually, to see. And there's a picture of Time Forest Pink here, so it's pretty cool that we have, a once again, a another female on the box in the design there. Otherwise, the sounds are the same, but we're just going to take a look at the new key, which is Time Force Yellow. There we go. Still really cool to get a hold of all the keys otherwise. Well, now I'll take a look at all the Time Force Rangers together. And here's the core Time Force Rangers together. Now, while I'm sad that I wasn't able to get a hold of the Quantum Ranger key, I at least own the Japanese version. I think I might have mentioned it in one of my older Ranger key reviews, but it is nice to at least get a hold of the main team of Time Force, and I just hope maybe, it's a stretch, but maybe one day they'll be able to re-release the last three keys that I need. Anyways, we'll take a look at the next set. And now we'll move on to Power Rangers Wild Force. So far, we actually went in order, so that's really interesting that Band of America has actually released a lot of the Final Ranger keys in order. But anyways, we'll now take a look at the Wild Force key set. On the back, it shows Wild Force White, which is the only new key in the set, as usual. But at least she's actually one of the more unique female Ranger colors that we've actually gotten in the entirety of Power Rangers, so it's interesting to see here. Anyways, we'll take a look at the Wild Force White Key in the Morpher. So, it's nice to finally get a hold of another Wild Force set. And now we'll take a look at the Wild Force Rangers together. And now we're taking a look at the Wild Force team. Now, this actually marks the final Ranger Keys in the Standard Saban era, so we're moving ahead and going to the Disney era keys next. But it's still really cool to look at all the Wild Force Ranger keys together since they actually have some of the more unique sculpts just because of the way that the Wild Force designs were to begin with. I forgot to mention that in the first part here. It's nice to actually still get a translucent version of a Six Ranger since a lot of the translucents are either just some of the extras we've gotten from. The Ranger Key Packs, and sometimes usually the Red Rangers, so that's really cool. Anyways, we're now moving on to the Disney era. Next, we actually skipped quite a lot of seasons, since now we're going straight into Power Rangers SPD. Now, I really like this set, since we actually got a very nice-looking translucent Shadow Ranger. It looks really sweet in this translucent blue color, and I actually rather like it, even though it's a duplicate key. On the box, it shows... Another female ranger, we have SPD Yellow. But then that, as normal, the box is the same. We'll now take a look at SPD Yellow in the Morpher. So there we go. So, that's cool. And as usual, we're going to skip ahead to the entire SPD team. Here we have the entire SPD team together. Now, I understand there is no key for the Cat Ranger or the Nova Ranger, or even technically what you would consider deck of gold, but I don't really count those keys in this equation since one, they were never used in Power Rangers, at least to my knowledge, Power Rangers Super Mega Force, so it's understandable why those keys were skipped. The thing that does bug me about this set is just looking at the translucent version of SPD Red, which I put it down here, one moment. So you can see, he has a white outline on his suit. Now what's actually missing for the only two of the Rangers is SPD Red and SPD Blue in the standard colors. So it's weird that pretty much all the standard version of the SPD Red Ranger Key, which there might have been other releases of the key, but just out of the standard releases that I've gotten, this is the only one with the white outline on SPD Red's suit. So that's actually really annoying, and I don't understand why Bandai America and even Bandai Japan didn't quite get that right in the first place. But anyway, so now move on to the next team. And now we're moving on to Power Rangers Mystic Force. Now this is the second of the three sets that encounter the problem where an entire set of Rangers were missing. So, 
Bound America has once again released another set with two new females along with a, another translucent Ranger key. This time, there's actually a translucent Solaris Knight key, which actually looks really nice in the translucent colors in general, similar to what we've seen with the other six Rangers and extra Rangers. On the box, it shows Misty Force Blue, so it's nice to actually get a hold of this set. It is still weird that the previous set included extra Rangers instead of the standard core team from the get-go. So that was actually one of the stranger sets still up to this point. Anyways, we'll take a look at the two new keys in the Morpher, which will make the exact same sound. Oops, I actually turned off. There we go. And then, I say Force Pink. With that said and done, we'll now take a look at all the Mystic Force Rangers together, which will actually be one of the largest teams, I think, in Ranger Key form. Anyways, I'll be back. And now we have all the Mystic Force Rangers together. Now, this actually marks the largest set of all the standard Ranger Keys released by Band of America, and they look really nice together, actually. I really like that Band of America's went ahead and... at least went ahead and released two females in one set. Since that's actually something that's really annoying how Band America has released in the past up to this point. Anyways, we'll now move on to the next set. Now we move on to Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, Ranger Key Set, technically Set 3. This set will only contain one new key, and that's Operation Overdrive Pink. In the box, for some reason, they chose to put in Operation Overdrive Blue, which is a very strange decision. I don't really know why they chose that. But the set includes yet another translucent 6 Ranger Key, which actually looks really nice for the Mercury Ranger, actually. I think it works out pretty well in translucent colors. Anyways, we'll take a look at the brand new key of the set, which is Operation Overdrive Pink. So here we go. And that pretty much covers this key set. Sorry if it seems like it's a bunch of repeats and a bit of rambling, but... There isn't a whole lot that could be said about the Ranger keys individually since they all make the same sound and so on. Anyways, we'll now take a look at the entire team of Operation Overdrive together. And now we have the entire team of Operation Overdrive together. Now, as other people, which have similar comments, Operation Overdrive is still not one of my most favorite seasons up to this point, but it's still nice to have a full team together of Ranger keys. As of now, the rest of the Ranger keys, though, up to this point, I'll actually have the entire team up. So we've actually way past the point of the sets that wasn't able to finish, so we're just gonna move on from there. And now we move on to the most ironic Ranger Key set in the entire wave. Now unlike the previous Ranger Key sets, this time Battle America already released all the females that were released in the Power Rangers RPM set of keys. Dylan was the only one missing out of the main team, so this time it's actually pretty cool to finally get a hold of a new male ranger key rather than the standard female that pretty much almost all the other sets were missing. Anyways, it has a really interesting translucent RPM gold key. Now, what could have been better if Vander America decided to release the fused silver and gold key, but it's not really a huge deal since it really wasn't used that much in general, but it would have been a nice nod to get a hold of that Ranger Key, since it will technically be considered a new key. Anyways, we'll take a look at the RPM Black Key in the Morpher. So, that pretty much finishes off that set. And this will finish off the Disney era of keys. But before we move on to the Neo Saban era, We'll take a look at all the RPM Ranger keys together. And here's the complete team of the RPM Rangers. Now, this is really cool to finally get a hold of all the RPM Rangers. Obviously, technically the only key still missing is the fused key, but once again, it's understandable why Band of America did not decide to release it. At least the main core team, including the six Rangers, are complete in the set. And it looks really nice, even in Ranger key form, just by the way the designs of their suits are, so I'm really happy to get a hold of all the RPM keys. Now we're moving on to Power Ranger Samurai. Looking at the Power Ranger Samurai Ranger keys, the box is once again 
for some reason, a ranger that's outside of a female ranger. This time we have a picture of Samurai Green for some reason, but that's pretty much it for the box. What's cool is that we have another translucent key, however, unlike the other translucent keys, I don't think Samurai Gold turned out too well since he looks almost creamy color now and it looks very strange. Another thing is that I know it's very easy to modify a standard Samurai Red key, but once again, Batter America has not found a way to release the Lauren key officially, so it's unfortunate since the Samurai Green key could have possibly been a Lauren key instead of it. But it's understandable once again because sadly it would break the one Ranger key, female Ranger key per pack, besides the ones they've already technically already broken that rule. Anyways, we'll take a look at Samurai Yellow in the Morpher. And that finishes off the Samurai Ranger Keys. We'll now look at all the Samurai Ranger Keys together. Now we take a look at all the Samurai Rangers together. Now, once again, it would have been nice if Bandai America went ahead and released the Lauren Key, but it's still cool to see the main core Samurai Rangers together in one set. So, that pretty much finishes off all the technically necessary keys. Now we're going to finish off the Ranger Key set that is still weird, that Bandai America decided to release, even though they're a main team. Anyways, we'll now look at Power Rangers Mega Force. And now we're looking at the final Ranger Key set of the newest wave of Power Rangers Super Mega Force Ranger Keys, and that is the Mega Force Key set. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's still weird that Bandai America decided to release the Mega Force Keys, since in the show, they went straight from the Gose Morphers into the Super Mega Force powers by using the Super Mega Force Morpher. So, these keys did not exist outside of the random footage that they used from Gokaiger for Mega Force Blue. So, these keys kind of don't need it to exist, but it's still nice to actually have the entire team of Mega Force regardless. Now, similar to the other sets as I mentioned, this is another set that contains two females instead of one just to finish off the set. It has translucent red as normal, and that's pretty much it. The box has Mega Force Yellow, so. That's pretty much it. Otherwise, we'll now take a look at the two new keys in the Warfare, which will both say Mega Force. No need to reset this time since they're just going to activate the same sound. And even if you put in the Super Mega Force keys, it'll activate the music as normal, but due to copyright reasons, I will not actually be putting that in the review. Anyways, we'll now take a look at all the Mega Force keys together in one set. And here's all the Mega Force keys together. Now, once again, while it wasn't necessary to create any of the Mega Force keys, it is appreciated that Bandai America has went ahead and released the entire team of Mega Force, regardless, in Ranger Key form. So it's really nice to have all these Ranger Keys, and it's really great to finally see all the main team Rangers and six and secondary Rangers in Ranger Key form in the Band of America toy line. Obviously, there were some that were skipped, including the American exclusive Jungle Fury trio, but other than that, there isn't a whole lot more to say about the Ranger Keys, and it's very nice to get a hold of all these sets. And that finishes off the entire last wave of Power Rangers Super Mega Force Ranger Keys. Now unfortunately out of all the keys that you get in this set, only 16 keys are new and that's very annoying how they ended up like that with the Band of America keys. It's still great that Band of America released all the keys to this point, but it is still unfortunate that the marketing got very jumbled in the mess when they were releasing all the keys to this point. It's still nice to get a hold of all the keys as much as I could outside of the three as I mentioned that I'm missing, but it's still cool to finally get a hold of as many teams as I can, meaning that only three teams in my entire collection cannot be complete without the three missing keys. So it's not really that bad in the grand scheme of things. I highly recommend picking this up only if you've been collecting the keys up to this point. If you like certain team members within these sets, then I say I recommend it. Otherwise, it's near impossible to get a hold of the entire team up to this point if you haven't been collecting. So it's hard to recommend 
for anyone who's newly getting into the line. Anyways, please comment and subscribe and check out Hirotaku and Hero Club. Also, check me out on Twitter, Darkon633, and please check down the other channels down below. I'll be back to bring more Power Ranger reviews in the future, but for now, I'll be seeing you too. Bye.